In today's video, I'm going to teach you about swim lanes in Jira and how you can add them on Jira Cloud to better organize your workflow. Swim lanes are an essential feature in Jira that allow you to arrange and visualize your tasks more effectively within a board. Picture a horizontal section on your Scrum or Kanban board, each of which can be used to categorize issues. This makes it simpler to track progress by grouping tasks by assignee, priority, story, or even custom queries. Let's dive into how you can add swim lanes to your board in Jira. First, you need to navigate to your chosen Jira board. This could be either a Scrum or a Kanban board depending on your project management style. Once you've reached your board, look out for the three dots located right next to the board's name. This is your gateway to customizing the board settings to fit your project needs. Click on these dots and then select board settings from the drop down menu. Within the board settings, you'll find multiple tabs that allow you to customize your board further. For swim lanes, you'll want to click on the tab titled swim lanes. This section is dedicated to managing how swim lanes are configured on your board, which can play a critical role in enhancing your team's efficiency. Once you're in the swim lanes tab, you'll have several options to create and configure your swim lanes. You can organize swim lanes based on different categories such as stories, which group all subtasks under their parent story. If your tasks are heavily team centric, you might opt to separate them by assignees. This way, each team member can easily view what tasks are awaiting their attention. Another option is to use queries powered by Jira Query Language or JQL, which gives you the flexibility to create custom swim lanes specific to your project's needs. And if your project is epic driven, grouping issues under their parent epic can provide a clear hierarchy and workflow for your team. Now let's talk about creating a new swim lane. Look for a button called Add Swim Lane and click on it. Here you'll be prompted to give your new swim lane a name. This could be something straightforward like high priority tasks or perhaps a bit more specific like backend team depending on how you want to organize your tasks. For those using JQL, you'll also need to enter a filter query. For example, you might use a query like priority equals high or assignee equals John Doe. This filter will refine which issues appear in your new swim lane based on specific criteria. Finally, after setting up your new swim lane, click on the create button to apply your changes. And there you have it. With these steps, you can start using swim lanes effectively on your Jira board, ensuring that your tasks are well organized and visualized as per your project requirements.